CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Yeah, buddy, it's the flyer number five. Mac Tools, flyer number five. We got the power couple. <laughs> uh, this is the quarter inch version of this. Uh, they still has the lights on it. This is the quarter inch version. This is MCF 801, but uh, I have this one. I love this impact. Not quite as powerful as the Milwaukee. I'm not going to BS you or Hanyak you, but, uh, you know, it is nice. It is lighter, and I love it. Um, I know you Milwaukee guys love your stuff, but let's jump right into this flyer because we're going to talk. We're going to show you the tools, and we're going to actually talk about the stuff because I've owned most of this stuff for a long time. I'm not just uh, jumping into Mac for views on YouTube. I, I actually own these tools and had used these tools for years, and uh, we're going to talk about some of these tools because I have have had them and the first one we see right here is the pliers which i know a lot of you guys were talking about klein pliers and these are usa made which i assume they're still made in the us of a yes they are it says it right there on them crimpers these are pretty much a standard a lot of guys like these for crimpers i do too i mean obviously different pliers for different functions but uh let me see if i can get a little yeah, we're going to have to flip the light on and off, maybe. But, uh, yeah, you can see they're they've been around the block a time or two. $79.99 for those. They're one of the one of the better set suppliers you can get. So, 20-volt max brushless polisher. I'll tell you what, I really like this. This guy right here is, is a true blue. Um, it is a true hardcore. Let me get this a little bit more sh shaved up. Let me knock off this light. It's hard to see. It's hard to get the light to work for me the right way. But I do like this brushless uh, polisher. It is bulkier than a Milwaukee or whatnot. But this one actually does last if you were going to use that in that instances. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, the polisher I don't have much of an uh, opinion on. But then we have the tools. Uh, we have the, brush, the brushless combo here. The MC... MCO 7012G and MCF 901. So the quarter inch is just basically a 901. Let me get the color in there, right? Come on, fella. Just work with me here, fella. Get that. There you go. Brighten that right up. I like the housings on the Mac. Now, you guys know if you watched my video yesterday, I do have the new DeWalt MCF. And uh, it's a bad mamma jamber. I have often thought about a quarter inch, but man, I tell you what. I'd like to hear your guys' opinions on, uh, you know, quarter inch. This quarter inch has 200 foot pounds versus most of them that only have like 100 for quarter inch impacts. And obviously, it's the same size as the MCF 801. So you're not, you're just trading it out for a hex. I actually use my hex as a quarter inch drive. So I'm curious about what your guys' thoughts are on that. So let's move right along. The kit's uh, 529. But the bonuses that come with this, and I do have this kit, is this 52 piece titanium drill and whoop oh yeah i have the kit and this is uh this has been a go-to kit of mine for many years this kit actually came out 20 years ago believe it or not um it has some nut drivers in it and uh it has some titanium drill bits and they are warranty drill bits so you guys keep that in mind that is a pretty cool set if you are looking for something like that it's doesn't it isn't the extended bits or the long bits but uh, definitely something you might be interested in if you are looking for a quick change bit set. I tell you what, around the house, uh, this thing really comes in handy. Not going to lie to you. That's probably my biggest uh, use for it. Let's see if we can get this over. If I move the screen, it would actually come over. Sorry about the jostling. But uh, let's get this. Good gosh. Man, it's just hard. I'm not a. I'm not Steven Spielberg. That's the. That's the biggest problem. Uh, let's get this color focused in here. Yeah. So the kit pro, uh, includes all these quarter inch drive quick connects, your countersink bit, all that. The kit. The part number is uh, uh, QCS thirty seven seventy five twenty A. Uh, you might want if you're interested in something like that. Definitely check that out. Uh, I, th I can't remember what the price is as separate, but all this bundle, this is a this is a killer bundle. I mean, because no, we're not done yet. You know, you got the quarter inch, the drill, but then you also get a 12-piece quarter inch drive 
mid mid link socket, which I absolutely love mid links because they save you from going back and forth between shallow and deeps. A lot of people uh, I've heard say they don't like them uh, or they don't need them, and I understand because if you have shallows and deeps, you can get away with doing most of your stuff. Intermediates are just kind of one of those sockets that they help out with time. So let's move right along here. Um, we've got a trailer plug bundle test pack with free trailer test kit. Now this is probably an IPA rebrand, one sixty four ninety five ninety nine. That's probably not a bad price. I would say that that's really uh, really intuitive of Mac to really uh, be competitive on pricing on that. So that's a killer deal. Then we have the brake force meter, which I've heard good things about these. Uh, up and coming, uh, kind of a really cool tool. I'd kind of like to test one. I haven't had one yet. Two eleven ninety nine. The Mac Dewalt or the Dewalt bundle for Mac tools, uh, six forty nine. Look at all the stuff you get with this: drill, impact, sawzall, uh, multi bit tool, radio, circular saw, sander. Six forty nine ninety nine. You get two batteries, a four amp hour and a two amp hour, a three amp hour. All that, that's a pretty good package price for a DeWalt 20-volt XR kit, if I do say so myself. Um, then we got the knives, uh, new knives. I actually picked up one of these, if you watched my video yesterday, the Quicksilver knife. Uh, this is basically like a stiletto. I really, really dig this because just it's nice for uh, just being precise, I guess. When I open up a few mail letters, it's just kind of a fun little knife. Uh, you know, it's well-built. See, it's pretty heavy. It's not a cheap one, so definitely uh, if you're looking for that, $69.99 for the 3-inch, 3.2-inch. Uh, the 4-inch is the one I bought, $74.99. And then the 5-inch uh, is $79.99. Moving right along, Swivel Hood Ratchet Bundle. Up to $200 trade here. You can get all these ratchets. Uh, pretty cool for the handles. I don't have any of those. Probably won't get any because I do have a snap-on, so that's just, I'm not going to getting any more ratchets you guys know we got a cart the good old locking storage cart pretty much where they all begin right here these carts have been around forever they're nice and handy i always suggest guys to get at least this or the one down here because i'll tell you what man when you're when you're doing like just standard service work just having a place to put parts and roll around the shop carts are just nice for that simple as that like you know I, I just, I love them. I love them. And and this one right here even serves a purpose for just doing parts, putting on stuff, place to put your tools, keeping it next to the, keeping yourself organized. 194 for the non-drawer, 309 for the, for the drawer with the lid, locking lid. Antenna nut sockets. I just had to do one. I just had to do an antenna the other day. I actually wished I had these. I got by without it. $59.99. I probably should be picking up a set of those, but I haven't done them enough. Then I feel like I'm never going to see another one again, but Flanger and punch tool, $79.99. That is a swivel head. That's pretty cool for punching out sheet metal. That's actually not a bad deal. Some more body tool stuff. We have some Mighty Midget panel clamp packs, $14.99. Some double density sanding blocks, $14.99. Mini spray gun with spray gun cleaning kit, $173.99. I'm uh, not much of a body guy, but that sounds like not a terrible deal. Paint gun hanger, $30.99. $149.99 $149 for a regulator, air-controlled regulator. Pretty cool. Uh, we got this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love, uh, ang these are my favorite grinders. Okay, this, I, I, if it's not a 120-degree head, and I completely will never have an electric one at this point. The Mac one would be the only one I get, and it's not because I'm biased to it. It's just the only one that lasts long enough, in my opinion. And I know some of you guys love your electric ones. That's cool, man. But the bigger thing is about this is it comes with these burr bits. And I'm going to tell you right now, Mac burr bits are lifetime warranted. Definitely worth the money. Two twenty four dollars with the deal, plus lifetime warranted CB, the, the CB4S. Or CB, yeah, CB4S Burbits. You can't beat it with a stick. I do believe Matco is doing warranty, but I know Snap-on does not. And I'm pretty sure Cornwall does not neither. So also, which brings me to another point, drill bits. I picked up this set. 
the other day. Uh, Mac Cobalt Drill Bits. I love the kit that it comes in. Mac Drill Bits. Warranted. Dr all the way up. All the way down. 100% lifetime warranty. Let's move along here. We've got a lug nut socket set for uh, your coated sockets or coated sockets to make sure that they don't damage lug nuts. These are probably rebranded from Steelman 149, 149 dollars uh, If you're your guys need that, I have this set right here. Uh, this was this was an OTC rebrand also. Great slide hammer kit. Pretty much covers a lot of stuff, guys. Two twenty four ninety nine. Not a terrible price. Got has a lot of th stuff in it. I think I have the rear axle puller set, and then I had the add on with the jaws. But these are uh, these are invaluable for the money. I have this kit. I, I'm not gonna show this one out because it's too big. You have to wait for my toolbox tour. Long bit sets. This is a good deal for these. Sixty nine ninety nine. Once again, warranted bits. Comes with your extensions, adapters, quarter inch adapter. Uh, these are nice bit sets for a, a pretty decent price, $69.99. Uh, we got a bore brush set, $17.99. Once again, this is a rebrand from IPA. That's a pretty fair price. I think I see these on Amazon for right around $15, so definitely worth buying them off the Mac truck. Help your Mac guy out. Smoke and EVAP machine, $13.99. This is a killer machine. Uh, I know they're expensive. A better machine is nice. I'd use a uh, Stinger. Myself, it was about 150 bucks, but I really would like to upgrade to one of these, especially with that filler neck kit right there. That filler neck kit comes in freaking handy. My buddy's got one in his shop, and whenever I get a chance to use it, I love it just because it makes life a whole lot simpler. Oil filter tool right here, $29.99. I'm pretty sure this one's also rebranded from Private Brand, uh, but uh, this is a nice Toyota oil filler neck tool. Um, and once again, I think the price is spot on because I'm pretty sure they're $24.99 online. So, uh, yeah, it's worth it buying it from the Mac guy warranty wise. You don't have to send it in all that business. Uh, and it's, you almost need them for all these Toyotas now. We got some new apparel. We got a new trucker hat. Let's check that bad boy out. It's flex fit Navy denim trucker hat. Hell yeah. I love that. Um, it says snapback closure, but it also says flex fit. So I'm guessing flex fits building snapbacks, flex fit, cool, dry performance hat. Um, I did order a few more hats, new shirts, uh, they have out. Um, I have those coming. I love the shirts for big guys. Once again, I've had a few of you that ha when you pay attention, they do have big guy shirts. Look at that four and five X. Most companies do not support your local slender fella just telling you more shirts max apparel is killing it guys i'm telling you what mac has the best selection of hats i'm not a huge hat guy but i somehow end up with them and i guess i wear them so but i do love mac hats the best they are quality more mac stuff uh cooler combo i don't really get into a whole lot of this 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 car is back ordered for you guys that are ordering this, I've had it on order for a while now. Um, it'll be here when it when it gets here. But uh, yeah, it's on back order. A lot of things are on back order. Let, let's just skip to that real quick. Yeah, I know you guys get upset about back orders, and I know I hear it from every company. Guys, everything that's going on, you have to understand that the back orders are r real legit because of everything that's going on in this world. It's not the dealers. It's not the companies. It's the fact that we literally import our uh, so much stuff. And, uh, you know, if we made it in America, it would still be back ordered because there's companies in, in America that are back ordered too. Everything's have, we're having all sorts of logistic issues right now. So just bear with people. Uh, we got a, a AC machine here. Uh, yeah, if you're looking for that, that's definitely a good machine. I know for a fact it's because it's basically a Robin Air and they're great machines. So be your own boss. Don't forget to look for the Coletta car. Let me know what you think of this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.